Three places separated Dijon in 15th and Caen in 18th. Promoted outfit Dijon travelled to Stade Michel Dornano on the back of a good draw against Monaco. Caen's recent results had seen them drop into the relegation zone but had the advantage of never losing to Dijon in Ligue 1. The Malherbe faithful had to wait 24 minutes for the opening goal. Jan Caramo takes on Arnold Bukamutu, gets his cross in, which is inch perfect for Ivan Santini. And the Croatian makes no mistake with the finish. Beautiful team move and Caen, one goal to the good. Santini with his sixth goal of the season. But they were ahead for only two minutes. Midi Abai chances luck from range. Huge deflection. Paul Rolle doesn't deal with it. Julio Tavares inspired back heel. Puts it on a platter for Pierre-Lis Melu. Want to forget for the car keeper. Dijon's task is made harder by Bukamutu sending off for a dangerous tackle. A good decision by the referee. And can't take advantage of the extra man to take the lead again. Fantastic turn by Santini in the box. And the finish is top class. A brace for the Croatian striker. Good turn. And it's a fantastic strike. Can't display in the first half. Rewarded once more in the 43rd minute. Jan Karamo with a precise drive that is just too good for Batis Rene. Three one for the home side at the break. The match seemingly done and dusted after a terrific first 45 minutes by Patrice Garon's team. After the break, Dijon attack early on, looking for an improbable comeback. Tavares is clean through, doesn't manage to shake off his man, but gives a beautiful back heel assist. And Lois Doni finishes expertly to give Dijon a lifeline. Tavares showing good strength and good vision. And then Doni with the finish. And Dijon set up camp in cars half for an equaliser. Chance after chance, they come close. Journey once again involved in a build-up, but it's Alaedin Yahia who turns the ball into his own net, taking the score to 3-3 in an absolutely crazy finish. This one ends 3-all, Dijon with a fantastic 10-man comeback, but another bad result for Caen, who throw away two points.